Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. A much overdue video here about my needle case and a few weeks ago, if not a couple of months ago, I filmed a video showing you um, how I store my needles and how I downsize my needle collection because I didn't need all of them. So I just have a few Chowgu ones and I kept three Knit Pro ones because I don't use Chunky as much but I wanted to keep just a few in order to you know have a backup in case one day I decide to knit something Chunky so I have them there I don't need to go ahead and buy more needles because I wanted to keep it very small. So this is the case, this is all the needles I have now and I keep them in here and they're all organized. And it didn't cost me much at all to make this case. That's why I wanted to show you how to make it. As you can see, it has a pocket here at the back where you can store all your cables and obviously your keys and whatever you use to change your um, cables for your needles. And in the front, I made little slots for all the, for all my needles. Now there's some, there's one missing here because I'm using it on a cowl. But um, other than that, I have all my interchangeable here and I also have some fixed ones here. And also my um, flexi flips are here as well because I love flexi flips. I use them for sleeves or for socks. I've got a few notions here, some stitch markers and some keys and some cable connectors in this little pouch. But all this goes in here, it goes in there, it, oh, <laughs> this flips closed like that and then I close it with my, um, with my popper. Now this plastic one, I don't know where it came from, I can't remember, I just found it in one of my bags, so I used it because it fit perfectly, but if you don't have one, what I did was just, I just closed my case like this and I have here just a little elastic and you can use a hair tie or it doesn't matter and just close it like that and all your needles and your cables are going to stay safe in there no problem and yeah it's even better because you don't really need a plastic wallet <laughs> for it so let's uh, go ahead and see what we need to make one of these I'm going to put that there so you need one A4 sheet of felt and I bought this in Hobbycraft it came in a set of um, quite a lot felt is very cheap uh, so um, and I find it so easy to work with and what you want to do is fold it in half like this and then using your scissors you're just going to cut cut it in half oops All the way there we go so you have two pieces of felt like this one piece you put aside because you're going to use that after and the other piece you take a ruler and I did have a pencil out here oh here it is you take a ruler and you measure 14 centimeters and you just scribble a little bit there doesn't matter this is going to wash off or doesn't really matter anyway 14 again here and then you're just going to draw a line obviously if you use a different color felt you won't show as much but I wanted white and I wanted the pencil so you can see where you need it and then you fold it in half right there where your or you can just put your ruler there and just fold it in half Take your ruler out and as you can see, this one that I've already done here, the, the front is shorter. So you want to go about an inch or let's go in centimeters since we started sending about four centimeters there from the From that side over there so you just you just unfold it like this and then do draw a line oops <laughs> it's 
sorry, did I say unfolded? No, just folded. So you fold it once on that line like this. And then you fold it backwards like that. And then this is where you want to cut. So you take your ruler out from there, put it on top of that line and draw a line there. And that's where you want to cut. So that's where I want to cut here. So dispose of that, you don't need it anymore. So fold it back again, like that. And now what you want to do is take um, your ruler and just draw lines of the width that you want your needles to um, needle slots to be. So I usually do them just over a centimeter, a centimeter and a half, and I draw a line, and then I move back again, roughly, you don't need to measure it, I didn't measure mine. Draw another line, go again, draw another line, go again, and then you have a look and see how many slots can you get from this one. And Usually you would have um, a smaller slot, a bigger, 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 bigger slot. So here I'm just going to split it in half because I'm assuming I'm going to have some uh, small gauge needles here and they will get bigger and bigger as, as you get to this side. So I'm just going to slot it in half like this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six slots. Most interchangeable needles come with either five or six needle sizes so this would be perfect and then what you want to do you can either pin it so it stays um, it's it stays flat when you sew it together by hand or obviously you can do it with your machine if you want but I like to just sew it by hand so um, I'll show you the one I've done I've done this much one, two, three, four, five, six slots. I'm just going to do one more slot here just so you can see how I work it. And this is what it looks on the back. It doesn't matter on the back because you can, it's going to get covered once you sew them together like this. So that doesn't matter. This is the one that's more important to be a, a little bit, you know, neater. So you take your... Um, thread I think I've thread my yeah I've thread my needle already you take your thread and I have here uh, just a very pointy needle and you start let me draw a line so we see where we're going and as you can see if you use black I use black so you can see where my stitches are you can just use cream if you don't want to see them I don't mind seeing these stitches so you're just gonna go in and out following that line that you just drew so you go in again and you come out there and then I t to make it a little bit decorative I tend to go in between the, the threads in and then out So you just try to make them as neat as you can. Obviously, you know, if, you're, if you want to do embroidery on it, then that's even nicer, I guess. I just didn't have the time to do anything. I just want a quick needle case for my new needles when they came. So just sew it all the way up.
there we go so you just go on the back and you make a knot quickly there we go and then just cut your thread so then you're finished with the slots for your needles and then what you want to do is take your other piece of felt and you're just going to place the the one with the slots right on top of it like this and all you got to do now is kind of stitch it around all three of them together this way and then I liked to go all around the 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 the, fl the flap and then come back and stitch it together here and then also you need to stitch it together at the bottom so where's my needle you get your needle and put some thread in it and I just use this Gutemann 100% cotton um, thread for my sewing machine you could use an anchor um, pearl cotton if you want it's a bit sturdier than this thread but it it's still very very strong as well thread your needle and I like to double my thread I usually double my thread it's just I've always I've always sewn with my thread double my grandma told me and it's sturdier so you have a about a foot long of thread here and we will start at the bottom here so what I'm going to do is go through all three put my needles through all three uh, sheets of felt pull it through and then I'm gonna go take my arm around like this and have my thread coming from my left and then go again just two, two millimeters further from the last time I, the last place I went in again through all three of them and when I pull on the thread you can see it makes a little loop at the top which makes it look neater and it makes it look like an overlocker so I don't know what this stitch is called but this is uh, how I like to kind of hand overlock something so you keep going like this and you will kind of make it a little bit decorative as well as you can see obviously it's up to you what color thread or uh, felt you use but I'll show you what this does once we get a little bit further here we go Just make sure that you pull both threads through this is what it looks like and if you were to open it it's very secure in there uh, so your needles will fall out and also you're gonna thread it you're gonna do the same over here so so you're gonna continue doing the same stitch all the way here through all the way here through all three layers of felt then for this part through both layer of felt and then you continue doing one layer of felt all around to here when you get here through both layer of felt and then through all three layer of felt and then when you get to this corner you do it all the way to meet your start point and then all you need to do is um, close Fill it up with your needles like this, put the cables at the back and flip it closed and it kind of overgoes a little bit here which protects it even more and then like I said just have a little hair tie or if I can find my elastic one, that oh here it is, just a little elastic one just put it on top and it keeps all your needles secure and safe. So yeah that's how to make a felt interchangeable needle case easy cheap handmade and a great place to store 
your needles and your cables. It's very small. It can be with you. You can take it traveling. You can just put it in your bag with the yarn that you use and you can have all your different needles there and everything you need. You can also put down here if you want a little um, scissors and you just have everything in your case that you want. I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know um, if you have any other suggestions or if you have any questions. Most um, things, if not all things that I mentioned in a video, they will be linked down below. Uh, so just expand the description box and you'll find there links to everything that I used and all the instructions and yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And also, if you go over to my Instagram, you will see more in depth because that's where I'm most active about everything I knit and everything I make. Yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye.